Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in my previous Samsung Galaxy S4 review video, I have mentioned that I'll be doing a tutorial on flashing custom ROMs and today is the day. So let's dive into it with a step-by-step -step guide. So before uh, we start, uh, it is crucial to stress that flashing wrong firmware can permanently damage your device. So ensure you have correct files for your specific device variant. For my Samsung Galaxy S4, which is Exynos variant, uh, the files provided here are for this variant only. Uh, don't attempt to use these files on other Samsung devices or different S4 variant. Now, a uh, quick disclaimer, I am not going to take any responsibility if you damage your device. So proceed with your own risk. Uh, now going with the tutorial. So to begin with, uh, we need few things actually. So first of all, we obviously need our Samsung Galaxy S4 device. And we need a PC, it could be any Windows 10, Windows 11, doesn't matter actually. It will work on anything. And a good SD card actually for our files, uh, like our ROM and other things and a few minutes so let's start so firstly uh, we have to download the files for flushing the device so we i made a zip file and i will put the link in the description below you can download it from there and when you extract that file you will get these six uh, like folders or files so uh, like the last three you have to copy to your SD card and put it in your device. So I have already copied the files in my device SD card. So let me show you my files, all files and SD card. So as you can see, I have already copied these three files to my device SD card. And other three files, uh, we have to work on our computer. So no need to copy those. So first of all, what we have to do is that we have to enable USB debugging on our Samsung Galaxy S4 we will go to setting and go to more and go to about device and if you tap on build number five times it will enable the developer mode so as you can see developer option is enabled so then we will go and enable this with debugging so that's first step for this process and then we have to do few other things on our computer so we have to install our samsung galaxy driver so the driver is, uh, I have already provided the file for the driver. Uh, you can just install it and I have already installed it. And also do one thing, just uh, turn off the Windows Defender. So if you open Windows Defender, you go to virus and threat protection, go to virus threat protection and manage setting and turn off all these things. So actually not necessary to do, but sometime uh, like flashing files, it doesn't work with uh, Windows Defender so better we turn it off so I have done it you, you also have to do that and now we have to put our device in download mode so so that we can flash the TWRP on our device so first of all uh, what I will do I will turn off the device so power off so our device is powered off so to make sure that I will remove the battery and put it back again so so that we don't have any kind of issue and we put it back now so now I have to like put the device into the download mode so to put the device into download mode we have to press power button volume down button and the home button simultaneously together so if we press it and as you can see it is in download mode now so what we will do we will volume up to continue so we will press continue volume up and it is in download mode and we will connect our device to our PC so I have already like connected my cable to our my computer now connecting the key PC so now the device is connected now we have to open Odin file so if we open Odin and then we will get these files and just open the Odin and it will show you one notice so just ignore this one is that there is nothing going on with this and as you can see here uh, we the Odin Odin is open already and as you can see here there is a, a blue mark here 0.com.6 it is a device of your which is connected to the uh, 
flashing software so if you don't see this one that means uh, your device is not connected to your pc so you have to install the driver so if you don't install driver it will not work now we have to select api and we will select our twrp so we will go to the desktop and as you can see i have twrp 3.1.1 and i9500 so this is for i9500 and open and the file is there and one more thing we have to do here we go to option and we will like uncheck auto reboot and we'll go here don't change anything else in the Odin software now we will press start button and the flushing will start And as you can see the flush is success and we are passed now and as you can see on, on our device also it finished like uh, downloading and all, everything is finished as you can see here so now what we have to do is that we have to disconnect our phone and we have already done with our computer process so we don't really need computer anymore so we can disconnect our device and we are disconnected now and so now we have to we have to like reboot our device to twrp to flash the rom so what i will do i will remove the battery again directly so we will remove the battery and we will put the battery back and we will reboot the device to twrp so to boot into twrp recovery i have to press volume up button power button and home button simultaneously we we'll press until we see the uh, Samsung logo then we can like just release the buttons and it will boot into TWRP so let's wait and as you can see our device is booted into TWRP 3.1.10 and after booting up we have to do one thing first first of all we'll back up the whole ROM so we'll select everything and select storage and we'll select micro sd card and we'll swipe to backup so this is a crucial thing to do so if anything goes wrong with the rom uh, you can restore the backup file and you will be back to your stock rom so do that and it's necessary but in my case i'm not going to do that I'll, if anything goes wrong i will flush the rom directly so i'm not going to do that and i will take only backup the, the boot file so in case if i want to like root the device that at the time i have to modify the boot image so in in case if i need that that's that's why i'm taking the backup of boot image so the boot image backup is only 8 mb so we have completed boot image backup now we will go to proceed with flashing the rom so to to flash the rom first of all we have to wipe the device so we will go to wipe section press on wipe section we will go to format section we will press yes here to format everything in our device so as you can see it's formatting data and it will clear everything from our device so if you have anything in your internal storage please back up before going with this process because if you lose your data I'm not going to take any kind of responsibility as I said before and we have to do one more thing we will go to advanced wipe we'll select all these without micro SD card and USB storage and wipe now so as you can see wiping partitions so do that too actually not necessary to do this wiping partitions but uh, anyway uh, it's better to do that now we'll go to install section so we'll go to install section we'll select our micro sd card and we will we will this seeing our files like magisk we have our gfs and we have our rom well, first of all we will flush our rom and swipe so as you can see uh, the flushing rom is started it will not take long time actually or uh, maybe one or two minutes so as you can see it is started and it is showing like rr and b5 so we are using resurrection remix here uh, it is based on android 7.1.2 as you can see here and the security patch level also written here everything is here so our device this is actually last version of our resurrection remix and this is the final stable version so it should be good actually good to use we will not have any kind of major issue with this rom but anyway if anything goes wrong we can revert back to our stock rom we have backup already so no issue with that so as you can see uh, the flushing is going on and the flushing is done already now we'll go back and we'll flush our gfs 
so some of the roms does come with built-in gf so we don't really need to flash gf separately and in case if it doesn't come and you need gfs you can flash it or if you don't need gfs you don't need to flash it in this rom if you don't want to flash gfs it's absolutely okay if you don't want you don't really need to flash and also uh, in terms of magisk if you don't want magisk you can skip the flashing and just boot back the rom directly so i'm flashing gfs right now and i'm using gfs pico here which only comes with or GFs thing and also Play Store so that's only I need actually and if I need anything else I just download it from Play Store so everything is there actually so it's going on right now it will take a little bit more time than the ROM maybe so it's going on let's wait for some time 10 years later so GFs is successfully installed so as you can see successful so we have another file here magix 27 zip so if you want magix if you can flash it uh, as i don't really need magix here so i'm not going to flash magix so if you need it you can flash it uh, i just put it there now we will reboot the device to our rom and first boot of this rom will take a little bit longer than usual so you no need to panic so then we will reboot now Let's see that ROM boot or not. Uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 as you can see. I hope it will boot. As you can see here, we are seeing the logo of Resurrection Remix and it is booting right now. So let it boot the device and i will do the review of this rom in later video so i will wait until the rom boot into the os after that i will stop the video for today's one and if you like this video please do like and comment and also subscribe my channel i know many of you watch my videos but you guys never subscribe to my channel i don't really know why yes i do make dumb videos but i do make good videos too but anyway it doesn't matter I hope this video will be helpful for you because this device running on 5.1 there are a lot of things not a bible 7.1 is also not really that great but still it is better than 5.1 and the custom rom does like work much better than stock rom because stock roms is like they have a lot of features and bulky and sluggish so in that case like uh, custom rom does pretty well and they work pretty well so i think it will be a better option so the device is booting maybe it's going to finish the booting right now almost done two thousand years later so as you can see here the rom is booted up let me show you we are in the same rom so we will skip the process everything and we'll just go start up with new I don't want to set up right now these things it will take time so. okay next and next okay accept and all set we'll use pixel launcher here and always so the device is booted up as you can see and it didn't come with a lot of apps we go to setting section I will check the Android version and everything and I will stop the video so going to about phone section as you can see here our device i9500 and Android version is 7.1.2 so that's all about today's video thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time